So I did some research and tried to figure out, all right, what is the Dragon Ball Heroes of One Piece? And it's a game called Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and there's gonna be a One Piece card game. One Piece trading card game. It's real. I've been saying it for like months now. I've been like, hey, let's get a One Piece card game. How about a One Piece card game? Opening One Piece cards. And yes, Bandai is making a One Piece card game. It's real, it's happening, and here is the deck box. Just kidding. This is Dragon Ball Heroes. Just kidding. It's Pirates Dragon Ball. And I got some One Piece cards in it. And I'm going to show you guys these One Piece cards. Anyway, if this is your guys' first time here and you want to see Shrippums and Dragon Ball Super Card Game and One Piece, whatever, just smush that subscription button. Check out my show. And we'll strip them all day long. Pirate Shrippum Adventure. But you got to have it. Got to love to see it. Got to have it triples are best anyway yeah so one piece card game is real and i don't actually have any of the cards but i've been doing some deep dive research to try and figure out what these cards are going to look like how can we know what bandai is going to be making well we knew that dragon ball heroes existed a while before the dragon ball super card game and there are a lot of things in dragon ball heroes that were used in dragon ball super card game especially like the ip and the assets so i did some research and tried to figure out all right what is the dragon ball heroes of one piece and it's a game called onapi berry match I found some cards on eBay and these cards are sick. I bought one kind of by accident, but I got it and the foiling on it was just wild, like crazy texture foiling. And I have a feeling that the One Piece card game is gonna be absolutely wild when it comes to foiling and texture and all that stuff. I think they're gonna go very, very in with it because it's just about pirates and trading cards are treasure. Shiny cardboard is treasure. Anyway, here's this deck box. I don't know if you guys saw my Dragon Ball Heroes video, you'll see it in there, but I got a bunch of cards in here and I'm gonna go through some of these cards and kind of talk about, you know, what is this? What are we looking at here? This is actually from uh, Miracle Battle Card Ass. So if you guys have seen Miracle Battle Card Ass, these are the cards. They look something like this. The art is pretty cool. And we may see some of this art possibly in uh, the One Piece card game. I don't know. I think they are doing a lot of original art for the game. So uh, this is just business Goku Shakai survival I, I love business Goku I'm a huge fan of Goku's business attire um but yeah so this is actually this, this is actually a wafer sticker I, I've been getting a lot of one piece cards lately just because I'm so hyped for this card game but this is yeah this is a wafer sticker and then this is also a wafer sticker but I would love to see some foiling like this you know gold stamp with this kind of rainbow laser disco party plaid foiling iridescent awesomeness I am into this and Luffy just showing up like hey I'm back. What's going on? Let me just put my hat on so I can punch Kaido in the head, right in the middle of his head, actually. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So these are this is actually this is from Berry Match now. What Ona P Berry Match. I don't know how you even say the name. Um, this foiling is like not so wild, you know. I'm starting out just kind of some of the some of the not so heavy hitting cards, but the art is cool on these. I gotta give them that. This is has like star. I've never seen this. Little tiny stars like this. This is that's wonderful. All right, so here's where it starts getting a little bit more interesting. This is something that you know we had seen some stuff like this in the ic card ass dragon ball game which was the actual predecessor to the dbs card game was some foiling that was something like this but this looks way better if you've seen those and you see this you would know that like this looks way way more excellent especially this uh well this is just you know bow, a shiny bow hancock card is all it's gonna do well the art on here is very cool it's very reminiscent of the art that we see like on the color walk books but i i really think that we're we're definitely going to see a very wide variety of different kinds of art in the in the game um this is i think okay so i think this is equivalent to like what the card promotion cards would be in dragon ball heroes because you do see it says cp here and i did get a couple of these they're all like worst generation pirates Unfortunately, it is shattered glass, but you know, you got beige here. Uh, it's gonna build his fortress in his belly and Drake about to bop some metal, punch him in the head, punk style. And uh, Scratchman Apu saying, these are not embrasures between my teeth. These are my black keys. So if you would like to hear my song, do not floss my teeth. 
and x drake i don't know whose side this guy's on i still can't get a read on him i don't know where he's at or what he's doing but anyway these are shattered glass so not like super hype but the art is cool the composition's cool it's cool to have the you know the the character in the background with the character in the front um and then here's just another foil shanks i thought the art on this one was cool and i had to include this this is just so good god pointo it's so cute it's a ball a chopper a chopper ball and this one i thought was really interesting i like this the motion on wiper here he's like it really you can see how dynamic the art is it's like so much movement really really cool um so i don't know i i think yeah this is just kind of showing the variety of different uh different kind of styles and these are all just more basic foils but this is where it starts getting a lot more interesting all right so this is like kind of looks like shattered glass but it's not shattered glass it's like these rotating x's in the foil you can kind of see how how they're above and it almost looks reminiscent of like whitebeard's devil fruit power like when he's using his devil fruit and what happens and like the animation of the you know the world like breaking around him it kind of looks like that so i think that's very cool that they're referencing that maybe with this i don't know if that's intentional but then of course here we have ace also and these are cps from some set it looks like set i don't know pcc 003 wcp was that the card code but it looks super cool with this kind of like x stuff in the fire around his hands because it really makes the fire look kind of like alive so i really like that a lot and this card this card's just awesome i got to actually take this out of his sleeve so you can really see but there's so many different things going on here with like this glitter on ace's face the angle that they're looking at each other and then this like rotating thing in the middle of the card here that is so cool i mean there's such a wide variety of different kind of foiling and texture you know texture things that are going on on these cards also you can see on the back of the cards they do have barcodes this is where the you know arcade machine reads them or whatever so i think this is the closest thing that one piece has to dragon ball heroes it's my best guess but here is another one of these like you know confetti sort of party foiling looks pretty good kizaru getting the point across with his pointy finger that's gonna laser blast the world i don't remember what this guy's name is but his outfit is lit i could not not include him i mean look at this man this is so good look at that fit it's so sick and like the geometric art in the background the way it all comes together just very very cool composition overall as a card shirohoshi crying is another one of these shiny little ones and then here we start seeing more like reverse holographic where this is blocked out so you don't see the hollow coming through on here on his hands and on his skin but in his hair and i think this is lion right like shiki shiki strong world yeah this is the golden lion dude you can see he's smoking a stogie because he's probably a stud and he doesn't have to answer to anybody i don't remember who this is but i thought this texturing was or this foiling was really interesting there's like shattered glass broken up with these like radial sort of x things and if you guys know anything about me and my history with shattered glass i only like shattered glass when it's divided into sections i start liking it this one was cool this almost looks like the pokemon celebrations kind of foiling but again they're doing the reverse hollow foil thing here and shanks looks like such a badass about to like poke somebody's balloon so it just pops and he says sorry you mess with me and my boy's hat you're gonna get the knife you got marco here as well i don't know what the theme is here but i think the, these are cp cards as well and Whitebeard, you can see when it says cp up in the corner that's usually card promotion so when a set comes out they'll have like a, a set of eight cards or something and got this boa hancock so this must be around like the you know around the war somewhere themed around there for this set and all the cp cards are coming from you know themes of characters from that set all right this one is also radical i thought this was super awesome there's like this wild like i don't even know how to describe it it looks like keys or something like lighting up behind luffy and all these different it's like a circle man i hope i wish you could actually see what this really looks like but i'm doing my best here to show off how fantastic it looks and it really looks like luffy is like popping out of the card i really really enjoy what they did with the reverse holographic theme here and with these flowers and there's like all these little different texture parts within the flowers themselves just really awesome fantastic wonderful piece of cardboard so i'm hoping that we see some stuff like this in the one piece trading card game as well and then there are a couple other characters here that i had from that i think there's two robins that they that they sent me and a frankie 
looking real tough about to shave somebody's neck and i don't know where this brooks is from uh, maybe it's from a movie or something but this yellow feather and the orange afro is i am into this I am, I am fully invested and into this look of Brooks. I would rock the heck out of this fit. I think it's absolutely fantastic. The red pants, I mean, so dang good. All right, so this was actually the first card that I got. This is the one that I ordered accidentally and I was like, all right, what are these cards? What is this? Where can I find more of this? These look absolutely insane. And I was looking on the back and here it says Ona P match with a berry symbol. So I started looking up Ona P match and stuff started coming up and that's kind of how I found these cards. Um, the only place I've found to be able to buy them is on eBay. And I think this game doesn't exist anymore. I think it's from a few years ago. This Jimbe is snapped but yeah there's a couple people selling like bigger sets you know and you can just pick up a set of a bunch of these things brooks this brooks card's awesome these the foiling is just so fantastically amazing uh i love it they're so beautiful they look so deep and and i, I could just look at these for hours they're so fantastic but yeah onapi berry match so i'm really hoping that we see some of this in the one piece card game here's where the art actually kind of starts falling off a little bit so this sanji doesn't look so bad the the foiling is cool it's cool it's like a different take on shattered glass almost mixing those little radial spiral things with the shattered glass and i think the characters look pretty cool usopp looks a little questionable here i'm not entirely sure what's going on around his chin and the corners of his mouth um chopper looks so cute i mean with the especially with the reverse holographic inside of his hat it looks so so good and these crazy radial radial shiny whatever is going on here and frankie's looking real strong of course he's not you know i don't think he's that tough to make look that good but he definitely looks pretty good in here now this robin's a little bit questionable there's something a little weird going on with her face uh so his proportions are getting a little bit strange but this brooks looks awesome i think from this set the brooks looks the coolest and i really again i really enjoy how the shattered glass itself is broken up with these like radial spiral spinning things they just they look so so cool i, I really hope we see some of that sort of foiling in the one piece card game from bandai and these are actually from bandai but luffy looks awesome i think he looks great this is a great looking luffy card i like how they made his buttons shiny here very very excellent and punch to the face nami's looking a little sus i don't know here what it is i think like her eyes are moved down on her face a little bit too much but there's something not totally right about this and i can't quite put my finger on it but zoro is looking wrong somebody looks there's something real like his eye that's closed is definitely too small his eyes are in the wrong place uh, but you know you can't win them all and the perspective on his hand like the way he's holding this sword this is just this was either this artist's last day or he was trying to get revenge for something or he was trying to make a point that that you know about this is this clearly is a mistake that's that's all I can say. This is not, this is not right. This is, they shouldn't do Zoro like that. I really don't think it's fair. Um, and then here's another type of foiling. I, I've never seen this sort of thing with the, there's the, uh, there's the gold stamp in the background. And then there's like these dotted line moving things that you can see them on the side here to the left of Luffy. They're really, really crazy, wild, cool. But then, yeah, there's a whole CP set of these. So there's Luffy and this Zoro's looking a little better. He's got Mihawk in the background. Still, you know, I think they're just having trouble drawing Zoro on cards maybe or something. But Nami looks good. Nami looks really good with the Arlong gold stamp in the background and this foiling stuff. It's just such a cool foiling style. Uh, Vander, I can't remember this guy's name. Vander something. Uh, Fishman arc. He's the one trying to steal the princess. And Horty. Is that his name? Hordy something yeah Arlong looking real mad Haji in the background and the gold stamp but yeah this foiling is just it's really 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 fun the gold stamp on Luffy here and with the hollow foil next to it just looks like I mean I feel like I have the same face as Boa Hancock here looking at this one it's just I adore it it looks so dang good and Sanji here with Chef Zeff in the back and this super cool foiling stuff and then here's a different one I think this is maybe like the last set of these CPs I got this chopper and big mode and Jimbei with this sort of like radial explosion coming out of his 
this, you can see this is definitely like a different sort of texture that they added to the card to give the card like movement. And you can see like when he does his uh, karate fist or fishman karate, thousand brick, whatever fist, it's like, it really looks like this in the animation. So it's really cool to see these cards using the kind of feeling you get from the animation and turning them into texture foiling that expresses, you know, all this cool different part of the art of the card itself while working within the space of the card as well. Um, yeah, I thought this was kind of wild, this like spiral spinning thing. And Frankie Super and Jimbe looking real tough to finish it off. Yeah, really, really, the, it's just the textures all over the place, you know, and this one is very different within itself. So I really hope that we see stuff like this in the One Piece trading card game. And I think we're gonna be pleasantly surprised. I have a feeling this game is gonna be very, very textured. I think the mechanics are gonna be very Dragon ball -y. I think mechanically Dragon Ball is probably the most fun trading card game I've ever played. I mean, I've only, I started with Dragon Ball and I've tried some other trading card games, but none of them feel, everything feels pretty lackluster in comparison to Dragon Ball. So I'm really hoping that they bring some of those mechanics into one piece and maybe simplify a couple things and make it a little bit more user-friendly. But I have very, very high hopes for the game. All the art we've seen so far looks freaking amazing uh, make sure to join the discussion group join the facebook page follow the twitter stay up to date on all the info they're releasing the game is going to be coming out in japan in july and you know heck and well i'm going to be stripping japanese one piece cards as soon as i can get my hands on them going to try and get to japan for the release of the game we'll see if i'm allowed in because getting into japan isn't really a thing right now but um if not i will definitely be dropping it on the day it releases here probably going to come out in november sometime in the fall i haven't said exactly one but expect to see the actual cards soon i think they're going to be sending out some demo decks i don't know if i'm going to be getting some but regardless i am going to get my hands on whatever i can as soon as i can and show it here to you guys uh thanks for coming by and checking out this speculation shrip em video with all this crazy cool texture foiling i am a dentist i can't end without giving a dental tooth tip so if you guys ever watch one piece sometimes luffy gets his teeth knocked out and then he drinks milk and his teeth grow back it does not work like that if your tooth does come out out of your mouth and it is fully evulsed from the socket it's actually not good to put it in milk people have said put it in milk it's best to put it in saline so if your tooth completely comes out put it in saline and then hopefully potentially you could get it reimplanted but most likely if you're you know over the age of 16 that's probably going to fail uh but if your whole tooth comes out hold on to it try and get it back in there and put it in salt water instead of milk don't put your teeth in milk i'm joku dmd as my dental tooth tip and i'll see you guys next time I made some new threads. I added a feather to my hat. You may have noticed it in my videos. And I made this vest. This is nice, actually, this is velvet. And I made this new shirt. And I made some Luffy shorts. These are 3M shiny fabric, but inspired by Luffy's cuffs. So yeah, the new fit. It's a new fit. It's new to era, uh, new world. Thank you, thank you so much.